Hello everybody. Welcome everyone to the technical training session on oil testing methods by the SHL technical support team. Today we would like to introduce oil test methods. As you know, oil test is a regular activity to evaluate the quality and status of oil. The purpose is to verify whether the lubricated machine or motor is operating as expected. When an abnormal condition or parameter is identified through oil analysis, ways are sought to correct the root cause or minimize progressive damage. Due to limited time, we will only present the purpose of testing that technical parameter for each testing method. The testing process part is expected to be referenced in the section presented on the slide. First, we would like to introduce five typical testing methods for water insoluble oil. 1. Specific gravity. 2. Kinematic viscosity. 3. Flash point. 4. Copper corrosion. 5. Total acid number. First, let's learn about the test method of specific gravity. Specific gravity is proration of specific material mass and standard material mass. About purpose of this test method. First, it is possible to confirm that the product has been produced normally and that the quantity of the packing container has been filled. And this is basic data that confirm whether the supplied product is a genuine product or a quantity. In the case of water-soluble W1 species, if the specific gravity exceeds 1, additives such as chlorine can be deduced. In case of base oil, it is possible to deduce the contents of aromatic, naphthen and paraffin in proportion to the specific gravity value. KS method. KSM 2002. Next, we learn about the test method of kinematic viscosity. Kinematic viscosity is a measure of the resistance of a fluid. When the machining conditions are the same, the lubrication performance can be determined by the viscosity. Kinematic viscosity is a property that directly determines the lubricating function of the oil, determines the lubricating film thickness, lubricating film durability and therefore determines the lubricating effectiveness. Viscosity depends on temperature, pressure, base oil and additives. KS method. KSM ISO 3104. Next, we learn about the test method of flashpoint. Flashpoint is the lowest temperature at which the vapor above the oil sample will momentarily ignite or flash when an ignition source is passed over it. Lubricants with low viscosity have low flash points and low ignition points. And vice versa. Determination of flashpoint is very important in the storage, storage of fuel and fire safety. The lower the flashpoint, the higher the fire risk. Normally, the flash point of used lubricants does not change much compared to new oil. If it is much lower, it is due to fuel contamination or a mixture of lower viscosity lubricants. If it is higher, it is because the oil is contaminated or mixed with a higher viscosity lubricant. To determine the flash point, there are two methods. Cleveland Open Cup, COC, and Penske Martin's Closed Cup, PMCC. For a type of oil, the COC flashpoint is always higher than the PMCC flashpoint. First, let's learn about Cleveland Open Cup. This test method is applicable to all petroleum products with flashpoints above 79 Celsius, 175 Fahrenheit, and below 400 Celsius, 752 Fahrenheit, except fuel oils. Criterion for indicator of fire and distinguishing dangerous goods. KS method. KSM ISO 2592. Next, about Penske Martin's closed cup. This test method covers the determination of the flash point of petroleum products in the temperature range from 40 to 360 Celsius. KS method. KSM ISO 2719. This procedure is applicable to distillate fuels, diesel, kerosene, heating oil, turbine fuels, new lubricating oils. Next, we learn about the test method of copper corrosion. Purpose is to determine the corrosion resistance of the sample through copper plate corrosion. Can confirm the existing of additives in oil such as active or non-active sulfur by this test. The lower copper corrosion, the better. Copper corrosion scale is 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, 2C, 2D, 2E, 3A, 3B, 4A, 4B. 4C. KS method. 
KSM ISO 2160. Finally, we learn about the test method of total acid number, TAN. The TAN is a measurement of acidity that is determined by the amount of potassium hydroxide in milligrams that is needed to neutralize the acids in on gram of oil. Purpose of this method is to check the oxidation proceeds of products and the condition of the sample. For most lubricates, they have a relatively small initial TAN index and gradually increase during use. TAN is often used to evaluate the degree of oxidation of oil during use. For lubricate with anti-wear additive, zinc diencyl dithiophosphate, such as hydraulic oils, they contain high initial acid content, so the initial TAN value cannot accurately assess the quality of the oil. Next, we would like to introduce four typical testing methods for water-soluble oil. pH. Determine of concentration. Anti-decaying ability. Check bacteria fungi, and ship rust. First, we learn about the test method of pH. pH is a measure of hydrogen ion concentration, a measure of the acidity or alkalinity of a solution. Easily measurable with litmus test paper but with reduced precision, for accurate measurement, an electronic pH meter is useful. pH control with appropriate threshold is important. New oil. pH optimization for each type of processing material. Used oil. Check the corrosion and rust properties of workpieces and products. If the pH decreases, you either have too low a concentration or a bacterial problem. An oil-soluble environment in water is a favorable environment for microorganisms to grow. The growth of microorganisms decomposes the oil and parts and machine tools will rust. In addition, some microorganisms emit a serious stench causing deterioration of the working environment inside the factory. Microbial proliferation is likely to occur in weakly acidic to weakly alkaline solutions and as decomposition occurs, the pH will decrease. If the pH is high, it is also not good. So we need to control the pH. Next we learn about the test method of determine of concentration. Purpose of this method. Check the concentration in stock or diluted solution. In water-soluble cutting oil, the concentration is the important factor for suitable ability. We can check the condition of emulsion depending on the sharpness of refractometer scale. Maintains the recommended concentration range, will improve workability, improve productivity, extend oil life, reduce disposal costs. Equipment for test is BRICS refractometer. Next, we learn about the test method of anti-decaying ability. Check bacteria, fungi. Purpose of this method. Check whether the used oil is decayed or not. When many bacteria and fungi are detected, the microbial propagation of used oil may affect the working environment due to decay. Next, we learn about the test method of chip rust. Purpose of this method. Evaluate the rust inhibition performance of water-soluble oil. Rust prevention performance can be evaluated by evaluating the rust resistance against general water and hard water. Rust preventing can be improved through rust preventing additives, but it is necessary to review the stickiness according to the situation in the field. Above is the content of some typical testing methods for lubricant. Thank you everyone for listening attentively. If you have any questions or concerns, you can contact the technical support team via email below. Goodbye and see you again.